Friday situation happening. <laughs> for another vlog. I'm excited to take you along for the next few days and it will be fun. It will be fall-like even though right now I feel like it's summer again. It's definitely been strange weather but that is pretty typical for northern Nevada this time of year. In the afternoons it is sunny, it is warm, but the evenings and the mornings have been really chilly. So we kind of get our fall moments, but then we also get our kind of like, oh, summer is not gone moments. Anyways, looking forward to the next few days. Right now it is Thursday. I am headed out to go get some pokey for dinner. My favorite, favorite, favorite food in the entire world. Tomorrow we're doing an Oktoberfest with my family. We always do Oktoberfest every year. I kind of talked about this in my monthly reset video but my family has German roots and so we love celebrating Oktoberfest every year and so we are going to enjoy some bratwurst and some beer and some German music on Friday with my family and then on Saturday I'm doing a candle making workshop with two of my friends they invited me so that will be fun my husband that night is doing a He's been doing a Lord of the Rings watching party with my brother and my brother-in-law. So they've all been watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy together, like the extended cuts of each version. And so I think they're on movie number three. And so they're gonna watch that on Saturday, do a little guys movie night. And so I'll probably end up doing a cozy night in. So I will take you along for that too. I am also in this video going to make an apple pie with the apples that I got from Apple Hill. I am, how many times can I say apple in one sentence? But I make this every year, or at least for the last three years, and I want to bring it to Oktoberfest night with my family so that I don't have to be eating apple pie for two weeks. So that's the agenda for this little kind of extended weekend vlog. I can't wait to bring you along for the ride. Let's do some fall activities together with our summer weather. <laughs> All right, let's go. finished my team weekly touch base that happens for me at 7 a.m. For them it is 9 a.m. central time so it is bright and early and with the day shortening I already feel like it is like fairly early for you know just like a meeting like to present yourself. There's a casual Friday situation happening too so we're wearing our sweatshirt today. Henry sees that I have a banana and he wants the banana. So we're going to give him his banana. So let's go do that. Put up for you. Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to eat our breakfast now. Henry is a huge fan of banana and a huge fan of eggs. So I have a massive plate of eggs. So I've been recently a little, I'd say like insecure, worried, anxious about Henry's growth. And uh, I think he's totally fine, but he is a little bit small for his age. Not like significantly, but just like on the slightly smaller end of the spectrum. He was a tiny newborn. He was uh, six pounds, 14 ounces. His head has always been in the larger percentile. So it did not feel like he was small when he was coming out. That was for sure. But his actual body weight was pretty small. Just weight and height have both been kind of lower on the percentile, but nothing crazy. I haven't really been, good job. We've been teaching him sign language as well. And he always wants to do food and he knows how to do more, but he sometimes resists doing more. And we know that he knows how to do it because he's done it many times before. But when we try to get him to do it, <laughs> he says, no, thank you. So we've been trying to teach him that because he is very demanding as an eater. Like he'll make noises the entire time he's eating. And so anyways, I got a little bit insecure about his size and just wondering like, are we feeding him enough? Because for a lot of things I've seen, just practice responsive eating, just, you know, keep feeding baby until baby is full. Well, the thing is, is that Henry, he won't stop. He won't like turn away his head. He won't like push away a spoon. He will never do that. Um, at least in our experience, he hasn't. We fed him two baby food jars, an entire, what did I do the other day? Two baby food jars, an entire banana, a full pear, and then a bunch of his little like melty things. And he was still going and you could tell he was full. You could tell he was very full. And I was just like, I wonder when he's gonna tell me he's done and he never told me. So I don't know if that happens. Please tell me if you're a parent and your baby, good job, more, good job. But if your baby doesn't give full cues very well, I would love to know because we kind of just give him a portion that we know is decent and go from there, but I don't know. I think with his one year birthday coming up, I think that's just what's making me think about it. Another thing is that he still does not have any teeth yet. And so he's gonna turn one year old, one years old and still have this little like gummy smile. He has not broken a tooth yet. All of these feelings of, am I doing enough for them to grow, for them to develop? Is there anything else I could be doing? Is it their nutrition? Is it something I'm doing? It, it's a process, it's a thing. We're, we're navigating that right now. Excuse me, mister, what are you doing? Okay, we're getting ready to go to Oktoberfest in just a second. My mom sent over a photo of my grandma in her Oktoberfest attire, and it is so adorable. When I tell you that my family is into Oktoberfest, I am not exaggerating. I wish I had like an actual like <laughs> outfit to wear, but I'm just going kind of October autumn vibes right now. So that's just gonna have to do. So we're getting ready to go in a second and I can't wait to have some bratwurst and to share the apple pie that we made yesterday. I, it went pretty well, all things considered. There was a bit of an issue with the crust. So I'm afraid it's gonna turn into kind of an apple cobbler as opposed to an apple pie. So fingers crossed that that doesn't happen um, because I'm gonna share it with my whole family. So hopefully it's good, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see, fingers crossed for us. Let's just send, send good wishes our way. <laughs>
Hello, good morning. It is now Saturday and I am off to go make some candles with my girlfriends. It'll be fun. There's this lady who does it through our church and she does it out of her house. I have not been to her house yet. We did it for my friend Amber's birthday. She came to them and now we're going to her. So it's pretty far, not too far, but like 25 minutes or so into Gardnerville. So I'm going to drive down there this morning and I am going to get a coffee on the way. So I'm excited for this morning because I have needed some new fall candles and I've just been burning the ones we had last year and finishing those up, but I've been wanting to buy more and now I can make them. So I'm pretty excited to make some fall candles this morning. So I'm going to drive down to Gardnerville and grab a coffee right now and I'm pretty excited. So let's go. candle making although I have done candle making with her before but it was actually just kind of a candle showcase for autumn which is perfect I loved it because I have been needing some fall candles so instead of trying to make a super good scent myself I was able to pick out some of her scents that she had already made so that was really fun Sunday because all I did was edit videos all day. Today felt, or I mean so far, it is only, what is it? Nine in the morning? 9.30 in the morning. And I feel like it just feels heavy overall. Like with all the stuff that's happening in Israel, it's just overcast right now. I got news of one of my coworkers' families got into a bad car accident over the weekend and I also got news that one of my co-workers is leaving and just put in his two weeks and so just it's one of those days where it just feels heavy like the world feels heavy and it is hard empathetically when it's like you know specifically everything in my personal life is okay but based on what everyone is going through around me it is it's one of those things where it's like the bible verse it makes me think of the bible verse carry each other's burdens and so fulfill the law of christ that it actually is it's good to carry other people's burdens to grieve when they grieve and not to necessarily be brought down yourself by what's going on around you but to have a respect and empathy for the hardships for the suffering that other people are experiencing also my mom usually works or usually comes over on monday mornings to watch henry and today she has a cold so it's just it just seems like one thing after the other so i'm gonna do something that i've never done on this channel but i am just going to say a prayer right now over all of these issues and just for God to have sovereignty. So if you'd like to pray with me, even though this will go up after Monday, maybe you're having a heavy day today as well. So let's, let's take a little second to pray. So Jesus, I thank you so much for first leading me to do this here on this channel, something I've never done. I pray for your peace over the world right now 
over these heavy events. I pray for your peace over my workplace. I pray for healing over my coworkers' family, that you would be with them in the hospital, that you would heal all of their injuries, that your hand would be on them. I pray for healing over my mom, for her cold. I pray for a sense of peace as things are shifting, as pain is happening. May your hand be on it. May you show us that you're with us. May we come together closer as a community, whether it's in a larger sense or a more immediate, intimate sense. I just pray for connection. I pray for community. And I pray that your touch, your light would come through me specifically into the lives of those around me. Please help me to be a light to those who are suffering. May your hand and may your grace be on all of these things. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. I already feel it's amazing when you come to Christ just with so, such a simple prayer, it feels like, but then you just feel like your soul is washed. <laughs> like you just gave your soul a little bit of a shower. And that's just, that is the immediate feeling that I have right now. It's just a little soul shower. That's, that's how we're feeling after that little prayer. So that was good. Let's, let's take a little refresh and restart the day with some new energy here and still being respectful for the heaviness that is on everything right now and moving forward and being a light in this bit of a gray morning. So let's do that. And now we have fast forwarded to Tuesday. I have just finished the work day and I am cleaning the house a little bit before we host small group here tonight. And I want to end the vlog off here because I'm actually going to transition into some party prep content for my little baby boy Henry's first birthday party that is happening this Saturday. So his birthday is actually on the 17th, but we're celebrating it this Saturday just with family and some friends. So I'm really excited to make it really cute in here and to really spoil our little baby boy, even though he'll have no idea what's happening, I'm personally very excited for it. So I'm gonna transition content over to that, so be sure to watch that video when it comes out in just a little bit. And I am so glad that you have joined me for this little fall vlog of ours, and I will leave you off with a little calming cleaning content if you need some motivation for your day. So thank you again so, so much for watching. If you liked it, please remember to give it just a little thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel for other content that is similar to this. I cannot wait to catch you on the next video. Bye friends.